Hi, I'm Josh. The purpose of this video is to help you get started with eHopper. It will walk you through how to set up your account, create inventory, and make a sale. I will also be showing you how to either use our product demo or get started right away. To begin, open the Welcome to eHopper email you received when you signed up and scroll down to the bottom to find your account information. Keep this information in a safe place as you will need it every time you log in. You will also find links to the back office and POS. Before you start, make sure you have Google Chrome downloaded on your computer and that the browser opens there. Once you check your web browser, click on the back office link and let's get started. As you can see, you are prompted to enter your account ID which you received in your email. Copy and paste your account ID and select continue. Enter your email and password that you used when you signed up for eHopper and select Login. Make sure you accept the terms and conditions and select Submit. At first, you have two options, starting a demo to help you get familiar with eHopper POS or to skip it and start setting up your business right away. Let me show you how our demo option works and then we will move on to getting your business set up. In this section, you may select from four different demos or mock store options, food and beverage, retail, serialized stores, and grocery. I am going to walk you through our food and drink demo, but you can choose whatever option is closest to your business type. Now that I have selected food and drink, I am immediately redirected to the back office dashboard. Our dashboard gives you a snapshot of how your store is performing and all of your store activity including customer info, gross sales, and total transactions. If you scroll down, you can also see your gross sales for each category of items. Now that you are familiar with the tools available to grow your business, select the icon on the top left corner to view an example of a standard menu. By selecting inventory and then products, you can view all the inventory in your store. To add additional items, all you need to do is select New Item. Now I am going to walk you through POS. To log in, go back to your Welcome to eHopper email and click on the POS URL link. To access POS, you will need your account ID, license key, and PIN. As you can see, you are prompted to enter your account ID and license key. Copy and paste them in the required fields. It then asks you to enter your PIN number. Select Sign In and then once again agree to the terms and conditions and select Submit. Once you're logged in, you can see the various categories of activated items. Select the category that an item is in and then select the item you would like to add to the shopping cart, which you can see on the left side of the screen. We will select a second item to add to the cart, which includes some modifier options. And when you are finished, select Done. There are various payment options that come with the Freedom Package. However, we will choose Cash for this purchase. The amount due is displayed on the top of the screen. Here, we will enter the amount of cash the customer paid for the item and select Process. You can then choose to email or print the receipt and click Done. The order has been successfully processed. We are now going to return to back office. You can do this by opening the left navigation menu and selecting the back office tab. Now that we have returned to back office, we are going to end the demo by selecting the essential package. If you have signed up for freedom package, you will select that option. Select yes to confirm deletion of all data from your demo. As can be seen, all information has been wiped clean. If you go to Inventory and then Products in the left navigation menu, you will see that there are currently no products in the system. We are now going to set up our company in Company Settings. Start in the General tab. Select your type of business, decide whether to allow external payments, and choose from various other settings. Next, we move to the Contacts tab, where you can input company contact information, including company name, address, and state. In the Receipt tab, you can choose to enable Kitchen Receipts and input a default footer. 
In the Taxes tab, you can set up taxes for all products in your company. Before you can do this, you have to create the tax and tax manager under the settings menu. You may then add the tax to the company by selecting the plus sign and choosing the tax. Finally, in the localization tab, you can choose from various language options, including account languages. You can also select the date and time format and currency that you are using for your company. When you are done editing all settings, you may select Done to save all changes. Now we are going to create a product. First, you must create a department that the product belongs under. Do this by selecting Inventory in the menu and then the Departments tab and select New Department on the top right and then input the department name in the field. You may also add a department description. Activate the department so it goes live. Click Done to save. Next, we must create the category that the product falls under by selecting the Categories tab and then selecting New Category on the top right. Enter the category name and short name. Select the category display color that will fill up the category box in POS Select the department that the category is a part of, and then activate the category so it appears in POS. The category will now appear in our category list to access at any time. Now, let's create a product. Start by selecting the Products tab in the menu, and then select New Item on the top right. The first tab that appears is a General tab. Here, you can select whether your product is an inventory, non-inventory, or serialized item. For this product, choose inventory. Next, input the name of the product, the product display color that will fill up the product box in POS, enter a product description, choose the product's department and category, enter the product's unique UPC code, and make sure that the product is activated. You can also add a product image that will appear in the product box in POS. Choose Browse Images and then select the image from your files. Next, scroll up and choose the Pricing tab. In the Price Type field, select whether you would like the product to be at a fixed price or one that could be manually entered for each order in POS. In the Unit field, select the unit of measurement the product will be sold in. If you selected Fixed as a price type, input the price of the item for the unit of measurement selected in the Sales Price field. Next, in the Modifiers tab, you can choose to add modifiers to the product. To do this automatically, select Copy Existing to copy an existing modifier group that was previously created in the Modifier section of the Inventory menu. You can also add them to the product manually by selecting Add Modifier Group. Enter the modifier group name, select from one of the modifier type options, and input the individual modifier names along with the additional cost of the modifier to the original sales price set in the Pricing tab. Select Add a Modifier to add more modifiers to the modifier group. Next, go to the Vendors tab, where you can assign vendors to the product. If the vendor is not yet created, you must first select New Vendor. Now, enter the vendor name and select the type of vendor. When you are done editing, select Done and you will be returned to the Products Vendor tab. Now you can select the vendor you just created in the Search Vendors dropdown. Input the unique vendor SKU and the amount the item costs to acquire from the vendor. In the Ordering tab, you can set the recommended quantity and minimum quantity of the product that you would like in your stores. You can also view the current total quantity of the product in all of your stores in the Quantity field. Finally, in the Taxes tab, add taxes that have been created in the Tax Manager to the product by selecting the plus sign. The tax will be added to the price of the item automatically in POS. This product tax will override any taxes you set in the company or store settings. When you are done editing the product info, select Done to save changes. The product then appears in the product list. Back in POS, synchronize so that all changes made in back office are implemented in the point of sale. You will receive a notification that your register is closed. To open it, go to Open Register in the left navigation menu. 
where you can input the amount of cash currently in the register and then select Open Register. Next, set up your receipt printer and cash drawer with eHopper. To do this, select the Settings tab, which will take you to those individual settings. There will be another video that will explain this in more detail. Once your equipment is set up and register is open, you can select items for order. As can be seen, the category desserts and the product cheesecake that we created in back office appears here. Select the product to add it to the shopping cart. If needed, choose from the modifiers we created in the modifiers tab and then select done to continue. This transaction will be processed through cash. Input the amount of cash the customer provided and then select process. Here, you can choose to email or print the receipt. Select Done to complete the transaction. Thank you for letting me help you get started. To learn more, please visit our website for in-depth usage instructions or call or email us from the contact information below.